Welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm just starting my day off now and I'm gonna do some home updates to my living room. I got the rug finally from Ruggable, so I'm excited to show you guys that. And I wanna set up some candles in my fireplace. I got some from Ikea. Unfortunately, some showed up broken, so I don't have as many as I wanted, but oh well. We're gonna still add what we do have and yeah i'm really excited to open this rug i hope i love it i thought i would show you guys what i'm wearing today first super casual i'm just working from home it is so rainy this week i feel like i've been pretty good at like managing my seasonal depression this year usually i kind of fall into it bad this year i'm trying to make a conscious effort of like getting ready even when it's really gross outside and like having a nice day at home and it's made me feel so much better this year. So I would highly recommend trying that if you are also suffering from bad weather. I feel like the rain affects me more than like the cold. When it was snowy, it was like sunny every day and it was like really nice in here and I'm kind of used to the cold since I'm Canadian. So that wasn't like the worst thing ever, but when it's like raining in Vancouver for two weeks straight, I do kind of struggle, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm trying to just like get ready, do something outside of the house, do nice cozy things inside of the house. Just like try my best to pretend it's not disgusting. So anyways, this is what I'm wearing today. These jeans, you guys always ask me about these. And unfortunately, they are vintage. These are vintage Levi 501s. They fit me just like like a glove. They're my favorite jeans. Um, I mean, I feel like they could be maybe like a little wider and like maybe an inch longer on the bottom, but like they're great for just like straight leg mid-rise jeans. I love the wash. They're like super flattering in the back. And I've washed these like five million times and they stretch out nicely when you wear them a lot and then they just like shrink back up when you wash them so i'm a big fan of vintage denim and i got these on etsy and i love them they're my favorite jeans um this top is also another favorite this is from tank air really really good quality um if you're like smaller tested like me you don't have to wear a bra with these tops and they're so just like thick and soft and i've also washed these so many times i wear these like every single week and i just love them i have this high neck one i have the same top in black and then i have a white like spaghetti strap scoop neck one and that in black as well my necklace is from pd paola my rings are from monica vinader earrings are from value village they're like little clip-ons i wear these all the time as well and i threw on this little sweater this is like a button-up cardigan from saison i haven't worn this yet i find their sweaters to be really beautiful but like a little bit itchy on me which kind of deters me from wearing them but i think i'm just really sensitive so yeah this is the work from home fit and I thought we could unbox the rug. I think I'm gonna add the candles first and then we'll do the rug. Okay, here are the candles. I feel like I could use a few more or maybe just some other decor, but I think it looks really cozy and nice because unfortunately the fireplace is not functional, so I can't actually use it. So I feel like this is a nice alternative. My mom would hate this. She would think this is like the biggest fire hazard ever, but I would never leave this unattended. <laughs> I would be like sitting in front of it. So if you're watching mom, don't worry. Okay, you guys, here is the rug. I really love it. I think it's fun to have a pattern in here and add a little bit of kind of texture and something more interesting and everything's very like plain and simple. So I think this is a really nice addition to this room and it makes it feel so much more like cozy and complete with a rug. And I think it'll be really nice once we get the couch in here, it can face the fireplace. I think it'll just be great. Bought the tufted version, which is supposed to be 
thicker than their normal rug and I did not get a rug mat for underneath. I felt like theirs were just really expensive. So I think I might need one just to add a bit of cushion and also it is kind of like sliding around really easily. So I might get, um, I don't even know what they're called, rug, like the underlay. I also want your guys' opinion on the couch color. I picked out a couch, but they're sending me swatches of possible fabrics and there aren't like that many options. I think I'm getting four or five swatches. One couch I think is way too dark. The other two are like a nice, one is like a nice woven texture and it's more of a warm creamy white they said. And then the other white is like a linen, which would be really nice to sit on. But that one's more of a gray toned white. And then the last one that I can remember is called Natural. And it's the same fabric and color as my old bed from them, from Eternity Modern. And it's like a nice taupey natural color, but the fabric is like felt. So I don't know if it's my favorite texture to cozy up in but it is really easy to clean so i'll show you guys the swatches when i get them and i would love your opinion i'm leaning towards i think either the warm toned white or but now i'm thinking that might not go with the rug or the cool toned white or the felt i think i'm in between white or like the natural color not anything darker so these are the swatches that i got um these are all of the colors and fabrics that the couch comes in so these are my only options and i was talking about this one this is the swatch that is the same fabric and color as my old bed and i thought i was gonna like this the most but having it with the rug i'm actually not the biggest fan this is the one that I think I said was too dark. I think it's a really nice color, but I'm kind of scared of having a piece this big and this dark in this small room. So I think this one's out. This one is the linen weave that I was talking about and I'm not obsessed with this. It's a bit more cool toned and I think it's probably the least durable and the, would get the most dirty so i think this one's definitely out and i think this one is surprisingly my favorite it's so incredibly soft to the touch i feel like it would be really nice to sit on and it's more of a warmer white and it actually it has some like darker tones in it as well like it's not as stark white as this one and I kind of think that one goes the best with the rug. I just feel like this one isn't that much darker than this. And it's not as nice of a texture. And it's also looking a little bit green against the rug. Let me know your thoughts, but I think I'm going to go with this one. I just got ready. I'm headed out for ballet. I'm going to go pick up my friend Summer. And then we're going to go. It is around 9.45, I think, and I got all cozied up, so I can't really show you my outfit here, but I will try to show you at the studio. I am really excited. I'm excited to go with Summer, and I feel like I kind of need, like, the mental stimulation as well as, like, just the mental break. I love when you're doing something physical and mental, so your brain is just completely focused on that and nothing else in your life. I feel like that's one of the best parts of dance is you're focused on, you know, moving your body as well as memorizing everything. I feel like dance is really great for just your overall brain and body health. I'm wearing like my white leotard and my pink tights and I'm gonna wear a pink wrap skirt. And right now I'm just cozied up. This jacket is from Glow NY. It's looking a little gray. I think I accidentally washed it with like some other colors. My top is brandy. It's also like really old and faded. My trusty Lululemon pants. I have my leg warmers on already. And then my Uggs. I have a shrug, a sweater, wallet, 
shoes. Oh my god, you literally can't see anything. Water bottle, headphones, mint. And that is pretty much it. I need to head out the door now or I'm gonna be late. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm just about to head out. I'm going to the one clinic I'm going for like to discuss a potential partnership and hopefully discuss what we're gonna do with my skin and Yeah, I'm really excited. I've heard really great things about them and my friend Emily just absolutely raves about them So I will let you guys know how that goes and I'll show you around the clinic because from what I've seen of it It looks really beautiful and I've just heard really great things about their staff and their doctors. I'm really hoping to do some nice facials regularly and probably a little bit of Botox in my forehead. I get like baby Botox like twice a year. Nothing too crazy, but I do think it smooths out your forehead nicely. In the past, I feel like I've done a bit too much on my skin and it's been a little bit harsh for me. I have pretty dry, sensitive skin, so I feel like my barrier got a little bit damaged from too many actives in my skincare routine and also I was doing like a ton of microneedling and chemical peels at another clinic and some of the practitioners were a little bit harsh, especially with microneedling. The first time I got it done, I was like, this is the most painful thing ever. And I was telling my friends about it and they were like, really? Like it's not supposed to be like that bad especially if they numb you and it was it was just like so painful and then a couple of months later i had a different woman and it didn't hurt nearly as bad so i feel like the first just pushed way too hard on my skin and kind of wrecked that <laughs> and was just maybe not trained the best in that so i do think it's really important to trust your practitioners if you're doing anything intense to your skin don't take it lightly, like definitely make sure you're going somewhere that you trust. So I'll be very honest with my experience at the One Clinic. Also, this is the current state of my dining table. It's pure chaos, but I have so many exciting pieces to show you guys. Some of these were sent to me and some of these I bought myself. I bought three sets of the cutest pajamas. I'm really excited about this find. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys when I get back, but I love this dress. I'm gonna wear this this weekend. <laughs> These are the dresses that I got from House of CB. Actually, I'll start with this robe because I just got this from Victoria's Secret. It's like a really soft pink, but it kind of looks white in some lighting. I thought it was white when I bought it, but it's like a very pale pink, really pretty. And then House of CB. Let's start over here. I got this corset top from them a little while ago that I have not worn yet, but I'm excited to. It fully laces in the back and is really nice quality. The boning is really sturdy. Then for dresses, I got this very just like chic, long black dress. It looks really wrinkly and not that amazing right now, but I think it's just going to be a nice staple dress that's very classy. And then I got this blazer dress and then I got this beautiful red dress they made this dress in black and white initially and I love that dress I wish I had that one as well and then this dress is probably my favorite I saw this on this girl whose tiktok I really like her name is Sarah and I think she used to be a buyer for Revolve and she just has really great style and this dress looked amazing on her and what else is new oh yeah these trousers and kind of like a snatched waist blazer set from rebecca taylor and then just three more things this romper from forte the brand i really like the tweed material this little black dress it poofs out a lot at the hips, which I think is cute. 
and that was from ALB the label and so is this little white dress. I think I found the perfect pajama. They are so cute. This is my favorite set right now. It's like this really cute blush pink and it's 100% cotton and just like so comfy, so baby doll. It can just be bloated and comfortable and not have to worry about anything but still look really cute. I'm just sick of skin tight pajamas, okay? I got a bunch of different sets, so let me show you a couple of the other ones. This is the blue color. I do think this is my favorite cut that they make. It's just like really comfortable and I love the ruffles. I really need to steam these, but there's also this one with these cute shoulder ties and I love this little print. Here's one in a different cut and fabric. This is like kind of an eyelet fabric. This one's also a fave. Okay, I'm gonna end it off here. This is like a classic cut. So those are my new pajamas and now I never want to get dressed because they're just so good. Also super random but I got this box on sale at CB2. It's made out of marble. It's really heavy but I like to keep my like lip gloss and keys and I throw my wallet in here and like any change as soon as I get in the door because I hate having clutter and I feel like this just looks so much more clean. <laughs> You are in Vancouver they deliver all over the lower mainland and I actually discovered them years ago I was taking photos in Delta with my mom and I was in need of some flowers we were looking at florists in the area and there was like nothing and they popped up so we went to their store and it ended up being kind of like not a store it was their headquarters where they create all the arrangements and then they just ship them out they don't really have a storefront so that was funny but they were so accommodating like they still let us come in and um they created beautiful beautiful flowers back then and they clearly still do i order from them all the time my best friend sarah has ordered me flowers from them i've just been like a long-term customer so i really love their work and they're so sweet it's run by two cousins i believe and they have a really cute dog I'll link their website below. You can like check out their About Us page, but they're just so sweet and they make beautiful, beautiful arrangements. I just got back from the grocery store. I'll show you what I got. I went to the dollar store first. I got these little pastel heart candies and got this ice cube tray so i need to fill that up i guess that's all i got at the dollar store i thought i got more but that's fine i got cheese puffs at whole foods butter to make some frosting a big container of strawberries i'm gonna make chocolate covered strawberries and I'm gonna dye some of them pink, like the white chocolate. So I got this coloring. I got myself a cookie. These are actually the best cookies from Whole Foods. They're the chocolate chunk brown butter cookie. They're so good. And I got whipped cream and the white chocolate. I'm hoping this is enough. And lastly, actually I also got Something very fun. This is the berry chantilly cake. Heard they're really good things, never tried it. So that's it. It's really nice and simple. And I'm gonna take the berries off and decorate it with the flowers, which is gonna be super cute. <laughs>
so happy that I just got fully ready. Excuse the socks because I'm cold. This is the dress. It's so pretty and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm keeping my hair really simple. I think I'm going to switch my earrings out for my bow earrings. I did kind of a pink ish makeup look. I did like a little bit of pink eyeshadow. And then I finished setting up the table, which is so cute. The little invitations. I just thought they looked pretty on the plates, even though I already sent it out, obviously. I also added ribbons on the candlesticks, like I showed you. This is the other side. These are the little cupcakes that I made. They're very cute. I'm gonna set up the projector as well. So that I can have like cute movies playing. I think maybe I'll have the movies on mute because we won't like actually be able to watch them and then play music, but I think they'll look cute in the background. Come a little closer. I wanna dance with you. Everything's moving slower. They're non-alcoholic Bellini. Okay. I don't know. I'm no. like, okay, I ate some. <laughs> Me. So. Yeah, I just need help with this. Okay. And then I'm then I'm ready. I did, but I got it on sale. Okay. Here are oh, outfits, guys. I know. <laughs> My dress is from House of CB. Heels are old Jimmy Choo. Well, that's pretty much it. What are you wearing now? My dress is Reformation. Pretty. And my shoes are Cezanne. And my spray tan <laughs> is Bosch. Our spray tans <laughs> are orange. Self made. <laughs> That's my ballerina right there. <laughs> Calling your phone, oh, why you not hitting me back? Please just pick up, don't wanna go tip for tat. Arguing not, versus this, then it's that. Killing my vibe, now I'm writing this rap. This is not another love song, girl, you got me and me sprung on. Love it like you know your pick stay. Curl me crazy like I did song. Really knew you was the one, no. I have a few updates for the living room. Here's what it's looking like so far. I think. The bookshelf's looking really nice. Those flowers are starting to die, unfortunately. But I'm loving the bookshelf. And the fireplace is looking cute. And the rug. The couch is ordered, so the couch will be here in like three months, unfortunately, because it has to get made and shipped to me. So that's going to take a while. But I am planning on replacing the ceiling light thought I was maybe going to leave the light at first, but I do think it'll be nicer to have something a little more decorative in here. So similar to what I did in my dining room, I got another medallion for the ceiling and another vintage chandelier actually from the same seller that I bought my first one from because I really liked his stuff and um, yeah, he's just really great. I found the seller on Etsy and I love the chandelier. So I got another one. I think it's slightly different and a different medallion. So this is the new medallion for the living room. Pretty, it's round and has like some flowers and leaves on it compared to the one that's in the dining room. It's obviously like a very different shape, but I thought it'd be nice to do something different. I got the chandelier in the mail, so I thought we could unbox it. my dad can help me hang it when he's in town. Yay, I'm very excited about this. I'm just gonna leave it on the rug in here. I just love the light in here. It makes me so happy. I love this little stool setup as well with these flowers. And I just got these 
candles from Diptyque. They're limited edition Valentine's Day candles with their kind of most popular scents. I got a few packages in the mail. One is these pajamas. I showed you guys the other sets that I got, um, but they sent me these ones. Really cute, these pants with little frilly bottoms. And just like a cute little sleep shirt. I really like this print. I also got new sleepwear. I've been trying out the um, yellow set. It's like a baby yellow, but I got some more in. It's from Vesta Sleep. So I like these silk sheets. This is the white sheet set. I also got new pillows from them. I really like these. They're like down alternative and I got a pink comforter cover, duvet cover, and I'm very excited to switch my bedding out and put this on for the springtime. I'm actually filming an Instagram collab with them. So that's what I'm filming today. So that should be up by the time you watch this vlog, but I love their sleepwear so much. And then I got all of this makeup from Hourglass. Thank you.